perfect cheeseburger recipe coming now. Let's start with the ingredients, yo. Remember, the burger is the most important part. Both delicious toppings, you got one good burger. First is the cheese. I'm just using cheddar cheese right now, but if you want to go fancy, use Gruyere to get that meltiness. Buns. I like to go small on my buns because they make perfect sliders. I'm using a Filipino bun called Pantisol. You can also use Hawaiian rolls as a substitute. You can find those at most grocery stores. I like these because they pack a lot of flavor and they're super sweet. Next, the condiments. You can do whatever you want based off the taste you're trying to get from this burger. Just make sure not to overwhelm the burger with too many ingredients. I'm using a beefsteak tomato, lettuce, and sweet onions. If you want to make this really fancy, caramelized onions. Video right here. I'm also using mayo and a little sweet relish. Next is the meat. To make a good burger patty, make sure you do this homemade and use good ground beef. Additions are minimal. Salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce to get that garlicky, soy saucy, smoky goodness. Mix all that up with your hands. Yes, you're gonna use your hands. It's the best way to do this. Ball up the meat in the palms of your hands to squish it together. Form the patty with your fingers. Very important. Make sure you make the patties a little larger than the buns you're using. Also, put an indent in the middle of your patties to help it from puffing up. Cooking these at room temperature is best. Time to get cooking. Make sure you have your burger and cheese ready to go. Light your stove to medium high and get your pan hot. I'm using cast iron, but you can also use nonstick. When the pan's nice and hot, place your burger on the pan. You should hear sizzling. Let that sit for two to four minutes or until you see the sides cooking. A little bit of red's not gonna hurt you. Flip over to the other side. Try to only flip once. One minute before your meat's done cooking, place your cheese on the patty and cover the pan to help the cheese melt. After a minute, remove the cover and take the patty off the pan. Just like a steak, you're gonna wanna let this rest to keep all the juices inside. Now to construct this bad boy. Place your rested burger on your toasted bun. Make sure to place a condiment over your cheese to help separate the wet stuff from hitting the cheese, like tomatoes. Same thing with your bun. You're gonna wanna dry ingredients separating the wet stuff so you don't have a soggy bun. Go ahead and add your condiments, put the other side of the bun on there, squish it down, and get ready to eat this bad boy. Ooh wee Look at this perfect cheeseburger. Mmm, it's juicy. It's melty. Flavorful. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just see how that inside looks. Oh yeah! So let's go ahead and taste this. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. That's all burger right there. Remember, the most important part to a really good burger is making it at home. Don't buy that frozen stuff at the store. This is a collaboration with Byron Talbot. Byron, I wanna see what you got here. Throw me your burger recipe and can't wait to see it. Subscribe to Benjamin TV. Mm -mm. Think it's good to go, let's look at it. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a good steak right there. After you're done grilling, you let it sit for at least five minutes. You want the juices to stay within the steak. Just waiting on the steak. Set five minutes. I should have said three minutes. So we're gonna cut into it, see how it looks. Oh yeah, look at that. That's some good. We got a little bit of pink in the middle. I wanna see what it looks like. And then how can I see? Just flip it over. Okay, you need... If I go closer, honey, then your head is cut off. Okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? That looks awkward. That looks so awkward. Why? Okay. Okay, go. 